so if you remember my prior video I was questioning can you just unbolt these and I thought that there was like a retaining nut underneath that maybe had to be held so I went ahead and drilled holes in the bottom of my seat to try to find the retaining nut and there wasn't one so I figured out why I was having so much trouble and these should just unbolt but you see mine kind of rust welded themselves there it's really rusty so those should just stay in the seat like you see on here I got two of them to stay although they're really rusty so I put penetrating oil on it it's still not coming off I mean I've tried even holding this part with a pliers and trying to unbolt it and it's just not doing it so anyway just wanted to show you that see how those are put in there there's kind of a nut that stays in the wood in here and obviously in my case it was just spinning in the wood and uh, it eventually just drilled itself out which is not ideal but I'll figure out a way to reattach these this side you can see where I put the uh, access holes that I thought were going to be necessary so like I said I thought it was a nut on the underside and uh, you know, figured out fairly quickly that it wasn't so in my case I'm having to damage things to uh, remove them but the end will be I'm going to paint and protect these pieces and then try to refinish the seat. Alright, I'm gonna paint basically all of the appearance sides of this. So I'm not worried about here which will be underneath the seat, but I am worried about everything that's gonna be visible. I've washed it. Just use some detergent or degreaser or whatever cleaner you want to use. Dry it off thoroughly. I'm going to wipe it down with some TSP substitute just to make sure that it's ready to paint. You can also wipe it down with rubbing alcohol. It's a good idea before you start to know where you're going to dry the product. So I found that this is working. So that's where I'm going to set it when I'm done. I'm using the Krylon Fusion plastic paint, gloss black. Obviously you can use flat or satin or gloss. Me personally, I prefer the gloss look. You got to shake it really well before you start. And then the process is pretty straightforward. Just going to use light coats and build it up. So because this area is not going to get painted, I'm going to use that as my place to hold And I'll let that dry. It's October, it's Texas, and it's like 90 degrees today. It's freaking unbelievable. So this should dry real well. So you can see this side was much less cooperative. All four of them were so rusted, they're basically welded together. And so the nut that's inside the wood was just spinning around like a drill bit. And I had to basically just pry them out with a pry bar while running the power wrench on it. To... So, not an ideal way to get these out of there, but that was the only way they were going to come out, obviously, with the condition that they're in. So I got them soaking with some PB Blaster penetrating oil. After they've soaked a while, what I'll do I'll hold this with the vice grip and then I'll use 
either hand tool or the drill to turn the bolt on the other side and hopefully they'll start turning and loosen up. And then I gotta figure out what I wanna do to reattach them because obviously this is not ideal at all. Okay, I got both of them painted black and I think the best thing to do is then hit them with the gloss clear that's non-yellowing and UV resistant. If you just leave the black paint, it probably only lasts about six months in the sun before it'll start looking as bad as it was. This seems to give it a longer life. I don't honestly know how long this will last because I have not yet hit the point to where this has failed. So what I'm saying is I've sprayed things like a year ago with this. They're still shining. So I think this lasts at least twice as long as not putting it on at all and probably even longer than that so highly recommend you do this and this will be just like the paint step just spray it right on top of the black So I'll let those dry, those are basically done. And then the side handles go on similarly. The taller side goes in the rear, obviously. And again, those were the bolts that were in there. I'm going to replace them with new bolts. They're quarter inch, 20 thread, and these are inch and a half long. Just like with the ones in the front, I'm going to anti seize these, hoping that that keeps them from seizing up, rust welding, whatever else you want to call it. Unlike the ones in the front, these actually have washers on them. It looks like I did a pretty good job drilling the holes and putting in the T nuts since these are all threading. It's definitely a concern I had when I started this project. And I think what you want to do to tighten them is just get them down to where they're touching and then start turning them a little bit at a time until they're snug. You don't want to over torque it till they break the plastic, obviously. And then since it's a new installation, I'll probably need to retorque these in a couple of weeks just to see how they're holding up. Since they don't give you a torque spec, you just kind of finger tighten them. Like I said, 
the risk of over tightening them is you rip the T nut through the wood and then you have to start all over. The risk of under tightening them is just that they'll come loose and this will fall off, which of the two possibilities that's the better one because you can just put this back on if it falls off. So that's done, then I'll just do the same on the other side.